All right. So, disregarding that last video those old goofy retards made, here's the accurate tier list. And yes, I remembered even the older Half-Life 2 roleplay servers and not just the basic up-to-date ones. Obviously, we're going to start on Taco and Banana. This shit was OG. All my friends and I after school would come play this shit to fuck around. Truly the foundation of Half-Life 2 roleplay for Gary's Mod and not that shit-ass clockwork server. Placing this relic up in S tier, cause fuck the nerds who say otherwise. Next up is Nebulous. And I gotta say, it was fun for a while, but it certainly had its issues, especially its dog shit framerate. Just goes to show how terrible Helix is. So, we're just gonna put it in A tier for nostalgic reasons. Speaking of which, we're on to Apex now, and only real niggas would know the crazy shit that went down on this server. It was fun, it was exciting, and people still had terrible mic quality back then. So, obvious S tier. Now we have Cataclysm, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't play this shit much because it got boring sometimes, and the staff were hardcore minges, not to mention that fucking peter griffin bullshit also it's basically nut script you troglodyte you can call it helix or whatever basically putting lipstick on a pig automatic c tier and i thought it couldn't get any worse because now we have aura watch and this shit was laughable if i wanted to play a serious roleplay server as serious as this shit i would have played a 1942 roleplay server at that point while it was certainly well created i feel sorry for the community that had to deal with the admins on there and god forbid the people who ran it actually get into a position of power one day c tier at best oh yeah i'm sure you're all waiting to see what impulse gets huh guess what b tier while it certainly was a promising offspring of apex and taco and banana with its better coding and fantastic mechanics and features it had it brought in a new wave of ninjas and not to mention having wire mod added was a huge mistake Having to see people's dog shit. E2's ruined the immersion for me, and so B-tier is where it's best at. And then we have fucking Landis. I started off my channel playing this server, and it was fun, but I'm sorry to anyone who plays this server still. And to the staff and management, but where the fuck have you gone, Landis? You're just a bloated CVR server at this point, with barely any roleplay content, and it's honestly a shame. Horizons was certainly an amazing update, but it doesn't seem much has changed, so for both of these, I'll have to say A-tier. Which now leads us to vanilla, and do I honestly need to say much about this? It's as if Impulse gave birth to a mentally challenged orangutan that just learned how to count to ten. But to be fair, it certainly had some good moments, so it seems fitting to place this in B tier. Antonova now, it certainly was a step up from vanilla, and it has some great roleplay content and some other things, and it wouldn't be an Impulse server without the dog shit combat system they have and retarded player base, but besides that, it shows its worth and it has earned the A tier. Now, with Roots, I'm not going to lie, it certainly has gone through a very impressive development process and is a great example of an enjoyable Half-Life 2 roleplay server. It doesn't excuse the fact their player base is full of prepubescents who think the hard RN word is still funny and acting edgy is still in fashion. Y'all need to get back to school and graduate already. That being said, B tier is reasonable. Now, on to Synapse. And as we are all aware, it is a very well-developed server. It has a great atmosphere and offers a lot of amazing roleplay content for serious role players to enjoy, a lot of amazing features and mechanics, and the fact players can play as zombies is a huge bonus. Overall great server, but wow, the Civil Protection player base is hilarious. I have never met a group of people who are this power hungry. I need to tell people to get against a wall just for a tiny boost of dopamine. Also, Hawk, you big fucking nerd. Universal Union is just a word, not a hex. That'll be cast upon your family. Anyways, Synapse is good, so S tier. Willard is a pretty decent server. It's similar to Aura Watch, but not having the admins who had parental issues. I haven't played much of Willard. However, I enjoyed bits of what I could find to do on the server. If it wasn't for the fact this server had that wacky-ass S2K system for combat, which is completely horrendous and looks like it still runs off the pre-release beta branch for Gary's mod, it would be ranked higher. But this shit is going in the B tier. And last we have Minerva. I'm not going to waste my time on this shit. Server was goofy as fuck and thankfully didn't last long. Docking that shit in F tier. So you're all happy now that I properly ranked these servers. If not too bad, cry about it. And Roots players, you can finally stop bitching. Now I gave it a B tier, okay? Greasy ass nerds gotta go take a shower and talk to some bitches for real. Later homos.